Okay. And we are live back here in I, I, I can take that magic yeah. finish. Look who's here! Hello! I got Hi me some Michelle today. You're all suited up and ready to go. I'm, I'm ready to go because we have an hour of fun, <laughs> fun, fun cooking stuff and great gadgets and things that are going to make your life easier around the kitchen. It is Easter weekend. It is. So happy yep. Easter to everybody. Happy Good Friday today or whatever you celebrate and uh, enjoy that. And I hope mm. uh, all the kids get lots of chocolate Easter bunnies. Oh and my things gosh. Like that. We've already got all the supplies. In yeah, because so. you got little ones. Mm -hmm. we, do a, we do a two house Easter egg hunt with family. So what? it's crazy. There's about 15 kids. Oh my gosh. It's going to be fun. Nice. It's yeah. fun. Good times. So everybody be safe this weekend and enjoy it. Uh, we have an amazing today special that we're going to give you a little uh, sneak peek of right now. Yes. And Michelle has a full presentation coming up, yes. right? Yes, so coming up at 8 o'clock, I do have Marcus Assam here, but what you're seeing is it's a new duo featuring two best sellers in the M Assam line. So mm -hmm. you've got this day and night cream. First of all, this is a jumbo size wow. here. It's four times the size of the one we normally provide to you. Yeah. You get the day and night cream, so that's going to give you the long-term benefits of you know, lines and pores and wrinkles, and yeah. then we have the perfect taunt. And that is normally on its own, a nearly $30 value. The day and night cream is a nearly $70 value, but instead of paying almost $100, today it is $49.95. Wow. This is everything right here. It's all about those results. You use that day and night cream, every single day and then the perfect taunt is like having a magical eraser that works in about 10 seconds and lasts up to 12 hours unbelievable you guys have to stick around for that mm -hmm. presentation because once you see it live you oh will gosh. do a double take and, and that price at only 49.95 is a really steal for both amazing. of these auto they, ship too on yeah that. they work together as well all right yeah. so we look forward to seeing that yes. you feel free to come and snack on stuff while we're cooking but <laughs> come on everybody we're gonna walk over uh so we got lots of great things going on today um and lots of really fun ways that you know you can save some money it makes your life a lot easier around the kitchen the lovely kelly deedring is here good morning my buddy uh all right so i will tell you right off the bat um the first time that i presented these with you i, I went home and i was like i have to have these yeah. things because a i bought them basically just because i love the avocado cover yes. that goes along with it it's but so if you love your fruits and vegetables you have open cans and jars and you're looking for ways to seal them and you're sick and tired of wasting money on foils yep. and plastic wraps and those things get all bunched up and they don't really work actually they don't really mm -hmm. get the perfect seal mm -hmm. then you need to get the farberware uh, a reusable food huggers. You're going to get 10 of these. They come in various sizes. We have extra large, large, medium. We have the small food huggers. Um, they're BPA free. You can yes. put them in the wash, a uh, dishwasher. I think you can even freeze them too, freeze right? Freeze them. Lifetime warranty. Yeah, these Nothing things are amazing. Nothing will ever happen to these. Yeah. So these are great. These are truly a revolution in terms of food storage. So maybe you were doing one of these jobs where you had like yeah. the plastic onion baggie right. and you have the onion. It still smells. You have to rebuy these. You have to throw them in a landfill, right? We don't yeah. like these. Additionally, some of you might be using the foil to cover cans sure. and things like that. Yeah. These food huggers are really going to save you so much time, energy, effort, and space. Let's say you were using maybe even a, a container to put like a half an orange. Right. It's still exposed to the air, right? So the air is still degrading your food. Uh -huh. Then you got to figure out where to put that in your fridge and it's taking up all that room. Well, food huggers came along and they changed the game literally for everybody. Yeah. So it's recreating the second skin of your fruit or vegetable. So take for an example an orange. Let's say you eat a half an orange a third of an orange you pick the food hugger that works the best size and just pop it in and now you literally are creating a second skin so your orange is covered here and now it's covered here think of it like a paper cut on maybe like your finger right sure. what do you immediately do when you get a cut you go reach for a band-aid exactly you don't want your cut exposed to the air to the oxygen to the elements that hurt our skin or our bodies it's the same with our fruits and vegetables these are living plants so mm -hmm. when you cut into them and when you slice into them to use them immediately Immediately, they start to degrade. The oxygen starts to break them down, and then you end up throwing them in the garbage because, you know, they went bad before you had a chance to use it. Now, Food Huggers has come in and said, okay, let's give you a way to seal, reseal, recreate what Mother Nature intended, which is the skin. So it's now a silicone skin. So all you have to do is take your half an onion, half a pepper, half a tomato, a third of it, whatever you have left over, pop it in the Food Hugger that makes yeah. the most sense. Same with an apple. You know I love about the onion one too. Yes, you no smell. You don't smell. You don't get it. the odor. Honestly, when you pick this up, 
It doesn't smell like anything. That silicone. Because yeah, because it traps it inside. It's I mean that's my favorite part, and, I, and it also takes two seconds to do. It it's really so does. Handy. And here's oh, my biggest tip: don't yeah. pull it on. Don't try and tug it on like it's a sock or Push something. It. Push it. So just take it onto a flat surface. Take that half that you're hugging and Ooh. give it a little <laughs> give it a little push there. And now you've recreated that second skin, and you can actually hear the air leaving. And we know that air is the enemy of food. Right. Air is what biodegrades our food. It's what breaks it down. It's the reason that we have to throw food away. Same with things like this. I don't know what you pay, but I pay like $5. You're expensive. I mean, they're yeah, so the expensive. Peppers. The orange, the yellow, the red peppers are crazy expensive. So now, if you're using a half a pepper in a mm. salad or a stir fry, go ahead and take that other half and pop it into a food hugger. Right. You're now recreating and resealing the skin of that fruit or that vegetable. Vegetable. And it has so many different uses. Like, mm -hmm. we're talking mostly about fruits and vegetables right now, but this is actually going to save you a lot of space in your refrigerator, too, because you're no longer storing air, right? So, if you are putting things in a plastic bag or if That's you're putting so things in here, you're storing a lot of air. There's a lot of room remaining, right? So, right. now you're actually going to take up less space, for yeah, example, and, and, in our crisper and, drawers. And, right. And when you think about things like uh, a cucumber or zucchini, you know, these yep. things are big. So, chances yep. are, especially if you just live with you and your husband or you and your wife, you know, mm -hmm. you got your empty nesters. You, you're not going to use a whole cucumber every time. So what do you do with the cucumber? Well, look. Half a cucumber. Look, you put the tip on it. I mean, look how smart that is. And this is all protected right. by Mother Nature, and this is now protected yeah. by uh, food huggers. This is the food savings, or the storage savings here in terms of your space. Okay, these are all equal halves of each other. So right. we have the equal half of the onion right here. Look at the amount of space. You could four pieces here. Yeah. You could probably fit, you know, another eight on this side over oh, here. Easily, right? So it really does save you uh, space in your refrigerator, your crisper drawer. Maybe it's your fruit or vegetable drawer. Yeah. on your counter or your bowl. These I love because these are what you guys told us you're using it for in yeah. addition to your fruits and vegetables, right? For cans or jars, little crafting jars that maybe didn't have a lid or you lost the lid. Now you have a lid with food huggers. A lot of people use it for their dog and their cat food. Maybe you have a dog or a cat that's on, you know, the soft food and you have to open it and then when you pop it back in your fridge, your entire fridge smells of cat food, yeah, right? Yeah, nobody wants that. Nobody wants right. that. Instead of having to transfer the entire can, now pop a food hugger on it. Same with something like this. Maybe you have somebody that, um, you know, has dexterity issues, they can't get into the jar. Go ahead and open the jar when you're at their house and then pop a food hugger on it yeah. so they don't have to open the jar next time. And by the way, you can use the food hugger to actually open the jar. Yeah, I've done that's that true. as well. Yep. You put the rubber food hugger on top and it yep. makes it easier to grip the top of the jar. Um, but things that have like like, you know, like that, like yogurt and things yes. that have a plastic thing that you rip off and you can't put it back yep. on to get the seal. Yep. That's where food huggers come in. Kelly, I want to show everybody really quick what they get. Yes. Because for a $20 bill, are you kidding me? Look at everything you get. So when everybody orders it, I know we haven't shown you the avocado one yet, but that's that's like brilliant. That's coming love up. That. I love that one. So you get two of the big jumbo ones, extra large, and those will fit your larger jars and your big giant, um, you know, if you have big Bermuda onions or big apples um, or grapefruits and things like that, that'll work there. This is the avocado cover, uh, and this thing is brilliant. You're going to love And you're uh, getting that. a set of two. Right, because there's one the inside the other. The large. Yeah, you yep. see it right there. So they, they store inside each other. So there's the large one. There's the small one. You get two of the medium. There's two others that are a little bit smaller than that then you have two of the extra small ones yep. here which are great for anything like we said a cucumber a zucchini um even you know baby food jars things oh, like yeah. that whatever those will fit on there all this is twenty dollars you don't throw these away you use them over and over lifetime and over warranty again. all right we Dishwasher are down, safe we just got down to a thousand we had three thousand i have a thousand of these to go around for, for my money for 20 bucks yeah it's crazy this is because uh, what are you paying on plastic plastic wrap or and a, foil a bag of plastic uh bags yeah. five bucks yeah, box of like plastic bags. yeah. Right? and you you have to rebuy them okay this one to me and guy you said you bought it just for the avocado huggers yeah, I love so it. you're getting a two-pack you're getting the large avocado hugger and the smaller avocado hugger for the florida right. avocado yeah. for the Haas avocado there's the big one there's the big one yeah. depends on what's in season i always have to you know some i like i prefer these but if they're not in season i gotta buy those I know. so here's what happens you just slice into to it maybe use a half an avocado for a creamy salad dressing or maybe you want sure. to throw it into a salad you take the other half and you literally pull the food hugger on uh -huh. you are now recreating a silicone seal on top of your avocado it won't go brown <coughs> as fast and it's it got, won't get mushy as fast thing, and it's too. a little pit in it too and if you pull the pit out you can pop that in too for space, uh, space so saving smart. so then then your larger avocado would be for these avocados whenever you have them uh, whenever you're grabbing them some people prefer them it's totally up to you it just 
pulls on top of your avocado and recreates that beautiful second skin so that when you go to put this in your refrigerator or I always keep mine in like my fruit bowl yeah it is preserved Look and protected I like that idea as that's well that's a great idea because that's for milk jugs or anything that doesn't have a lid this one's cool because I allow myself to do yeah. like a diet soda every now and again but I don't yeah. try, I try not to drink the whole thing and now I can preserve Beans? the little fizzies in yeah. my diet soda as yeah. well so these are all additional uses that you will find for your food huggers yeah um, a glass of wine or maybe a nice lemonade or an iced tea if you're outdoors and you don't want the little gnats to fall in. You know, it's funny. Everybody gets a food hugger for their actually, wine. That's actually happened to me before where yes. I, I had a half glass of wine and all yep. of a sudden I looked up the clock Little and I'm like, nuts. oh, I gotta go to bed. Yep. I don't want any more of oh, this. You and, and, okay. and if you don't want to try to dump it back, which I've done, try to get it back into the bottle, which is not a good idea. I would love to see that situation. Yeah, it's bad. Going down um, at guys' house. But, but plastic wrap is just, it's a waste, right? It is, and, it's a throwaway. Yeah. Or you can even listen. Hey, listen, you want to take these, if you're sitting out on your patio and you're worried about bugs getting yep. in uh, your drink, yep. <laughs> you can take an them outside. An iced tea, a lemonade, a glass of milk, yeah. put it over. You don't want to your... get to the bottom and realize there's a fly in the bottom of well, it. Well, so. if I have a little knot in my wine, I still drink my wine, but it's just a little added protein. It's but not hurt I don't, you. Pr I don't prefer to do that, my friend. So no, I know. if you have that little food hugger on top, that's not going to happen. Okay, it's great for the fruits and vegetables. You're going to find use after use after use. Remember, these are BPA free because they're silicone. So silicone is naturally BPA free. Look at the half a lime. Maybe you're using a little bit of lime juice in a margarita. Or you're doing it over a salad or something. Sure. Use that half a lime. Pop a food hugger over it rather than wasting an entire plastic bag yeah. for the other half of your lime or letting your lime get hard on the oh, counter squishy is, in the fridge look at this waste of look space look at how much and it's also still yeah. exposed to air and i don't know if that's bpa free either who knows oh well, who knows these little um, cheap but, ones but they don't last very long and you can't you know they say these are dish safe yeah good luck mm -hmm. good luck if these happen to fall into the bottom rack of your dishwasher they're gonna melt down there so look at this eggplant though right. this is equal halves of each other they were both sitting out for the last couple of hours while we were preparing this one here had no food hugger this one had a food hugger right we just popped a little food hugger right on top there the difference is astounding it's just air that's what air does to your eggplant or yeah. it does to your avocado or your banana it's a well, killer it's good to ripen but then it also over ripens to the point where it rots yep. so, so you want to protect it and that's what you're doing these are only $19.95. Hey, Kelly, would you talk for about a minute yes, on the, the bowl, bowl covers. covers? Because these... I, these I can't tell you enough about. These things are amazing. And you get how many you in You get a set? set of fives. You're actually okay. getting a small, two mediums, a large, and an extra large. And those bowl covers are not just going to go on bowls and plates and all kinds of stuff, but they're also go on top of pineapples and melons. They're your larger fruits and vegetables as well. So those are a great addition, and I think they're like over 50% off, guys. So if all you right, haven't honey. picked those up, grab those. Kelly, thank you so all much. Right, my friends. I love those things. All right, and by the way, I think I only have that left in the green combo, right, Kyle? In the green and yellow combo, but these fit all kinds of those you know your favorite bowls that you have the metal bowls these fit over those and you're gonna love them those are only $18.95 all right you guys all know the series chopped right and how we love it and our, our buddy uh, Mark Murphy comes to join us from time to time well John Florell is here and we're gonna talk about one of my favorite all-time items that I've ever seen on the show uh, and this is our speed grater and slicer John Florell has, has shown me the coolest things you can do on this and the nice thing is you don't have to plug anything in nope. it's super quiet right but when you see what you can make with this machine and and how fast you can prep and take a vegetable in a matter of seconds, chop the entire vegetable, perfectly all the same size, you will be sold. Good news is it's easy to use. Anybody can do it. Bad news is I have 760. John, go. Look at this. I mean, we just did an entire English cucumber, and it goes right into the bowl. There com it comes with three different blades, Guy. You've yeah. got the blade that does your slicing, and that's what I just put inside here. To change it out, it's really simple. Uh, the, yep, all dishwasher safe. The, the, these little... Uh, I call them drums. They're all stainless steel, so they're dishwasher safe. This one, you can see it's a slicing. Right. And then you've got a coarse grater, and you've got a fine grater. You see, most people have those old four-sided tin can knuckle buster grater yeah, things, yeah, right? Yeah. That, <laughs> that bust up your nails and knuckles. Right. Here's how simple this is. Oh, and by the way, right here on the side, all you do is turn this little knob. You can, it locks down to your countertop by turning this knob, you can see right here. Right. So you just place it on your countertop or tabletop, lock it down, and now it's solid. Yeah. Stays yeah. on there. It's not going to move. Place the insert you want inside. The handle is the key. This, you just, when you wait until it snaps, you'll hear it snap. Locks and right it in. locks in. And then you take whatever it is that you want to slice, place a bowl or a plate in front. You can slice right into a salad bowl if you like. Look, we can do 
Here I'm slicing radishes oh three gosh. at a time, four at a time. All you do is place them in the little holder on top. It comes with the plunger to push them through. And look at this. You can slice radishes safe, fast, and easy and never even pick up a knife. Your fingers never get close to the blades, but you can, I mean, literally do bowls full of radishes That's literally in seconds. Awesome. But watch how easy this is to change. Now, on the back of this handle, I'm going to pull this off and show the camera. There's a little tab right here. You slide that down to release it. That's how you change out the it's insert. It's really so easy, right, It's John? so simple. Yeah. All you do is pull this one out. I'm going to put the grating insert in, or the grating drum. You're going to clean that out of there. I'm going to put the grater in, and then we'll snap that handle on. Listen, you'll hear it click. There it goes. Now once it clicks, you're all good to go. And take a look at this now, because this is, for grating, cool. even maybe you're doing some zucchini for zucchini bread or zucchini muffins. Maybe you want to oh do some carrot for Lord. carrot cake, potatoes for pa potato pancakes. <laughs> I mean, it does way wow. more work than one of those electric food processors. Look and all that, you do John. is turn the handle. Look at this. You get perfectly great. Here, you want to try carrots? You can do carrots the same way. Place a carrot inside. All you do is turn the handle. Carrots for carrot cake or for garnishing a salad. When you get close to your, you don't have to put your fingers all the way down in here. We give you that plunger on top. Look and look at, at this. And now everybody, I mean, when I mentioned grating, everybody, the first thing you think of is what? Cheese, right? Right. Here, I tell you what, this is one of the best little cheese graters you will ever use. Take a block of your cheddar cheese, place it on top. And I'm not even going to clean this machine oh out. Look Lord. at this. I mean, <laughs> it comes out of there so perfect, so fine, so uniform. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about getting your fingers not nailed by one of those old tin can, and, you know, no. the, the and see old how it's style slightly, graders. It's slightly angled. That's yes. so the stuff falls down and goes out through the end of the chute. You know, obviously, That's right. you want to rinse it out between your veggies but and your cheese. But on taco night, you're going to love that. this. I mean, just for cheese alone, it's worth it for that. That's for soft cheeses. You can do mozzarella. You can do, but with that fine grater, here, I'm going to pull this out. Okay, we're so going to switch over. Out, Here's rinse how, it out. Again, right. just rinse it like a knife, or you can put it in the dishwasher. I'm going to put the fine grating in, okay? Listen to the handle. You heard it snap. Oh, now you snap. know it's inside. How about for Parmesan cheese? Here, we're going to make a new bowl. I'll tell you what, look at this. I mean, you went for your Italian dishes. Look, at, oh, I mean, it doesn't get any finer, wow. lighter, fluffier than this. Look all again. you do is look. press. <laughs> I mean, look you can do cheese. more Parmesan you know, cheese. John, Why buy it already graded, guys? I was just going to say, they cost, they cost you 4 or $5 a yeah. bag, and half the money is spent because they chop it for you and they throw it in an industrial machine. Right. This you can just do yourself. And look at the consistency. Perfect for putting over pasta on a pizza, and you do it all yourself. <laughs> this was $59.95. Today it's only $39.95 and it's on FlexPay. It's $13.32 to get it home. John, that's like, you've done it like, like a half a pound of cheese. I <laughs> you know, and, and wow. it's done in seconds. In seconds. And here's what I love too. I'm gonna show you again how this works. How you, it, It's so simple to put together, okay? All you do is place the tower right on your countertop or tabletop. You turn the knob on the side, that locks it down so it's solid on your countertop. Now if you wanna replace the top, all you do is pull this, uh, turn this to the side, you lift the top off. Okay, you can, it's so easy to clean. So this is dishwasher safe. You lock it down, and the drums are dishwasher safe. Everything, you just place it, whatever it is that you want to, uh, great, place it inside and twist the handle. How about for, uh, if you do any baking, maybe you want to make some graham cracker crust, right. okay? But instead of rolling it uh, with a rolling pin in a bag on the countertop, right, now you, you can me. put it in the speed slicer there, and grater. <laughs> and look at this, for graham cracker crust, yeah, for breading, uh, hey, listen, maybe you want to do some uh, stale bread for yeah, like chicken, you meat. You want to turn or, croutons you know. into bread yeah, crumbs. Yeah, absolutely. Right? You can do this with graham crackers. You can look, do it with... It. Can I, I show mean, everybody the consistency? Oh, yeah. Look at that consistency. <laughs> that is... It doesn't get any finer. Oh, my gosh. Take a handful of saltines, yeah. okay? Place it in the chute and on top. Look at this. For breading chicken, fish, or meatloaf, look at that. It's done literally in seconds. Oh, See, my and crab cakes. I can do that in my crab oh, cakes. Oh, yeah. And like then you can add the seasonings that you like, okay, to your breadcrumbs, yeah. and you've got your own homemade breading. I mean, just using it for that alone, yeah. I think, is worth it. All right, let me show everybody what you get. And by the way, we are down to about 700. <clears throat> That's all we have available. I have 100 and something people online, so that means probably around 600 left. So when you order, you have your choice. We still have colors available. I love this red. It comes in the white, so that, you know, if you've got uh, white appliances, it's perfect. It also comes in the steel gray. Whenever you order, remember, you get three of the drums. You get the large grater, the, the fine grater, and then you also get the slicing blade. These are all dishwasher safe. It, uh, it easily 
fully suction cups down to your counter. Uh, so, uh, you know, whether you've got a marble or travertine or, or tile, whatever it is, or uh, our laminate, it'll stick down there. That's all you need to do. And you can take it with you wherever you go. Uh, but whatever you do today, you're going to get $20 off. It's a great deal. By the way, I have to show you something really quick. Yep. Um, while, while John's getting uh, fixed up over there. We have available <laughs> the chopped. And this is, yes. this is the chopped chopper it's the iconic cleaver, cleaver that you see yeah. we have this available today on sale what's the price on the cleaver today it's like 14 it's half oh, wow. the price or something yeah <laughs> look at look at look at look at look at it comes in this beautiful case this is only 14.90 it's half price it was well yeah. retail was 29 we took ten dollars off so if you want something really good and i'm talking about cutting through the yeah. chop the hardest uh, pieces of meat or smashing garlic or chopping veggies this is available okay go ahead john look we're, at we're this gonna, we're, we're gonna, gonna talk throw about this some, later hey we've done uh, you know just about everything here but i got to tell you whether look at this talk about going nuts yeah, over peanuts? a grater all yeah. right we got peanuts here you can do cashews wow. almonds walnuts peanuts for your cash for your toppings cakes for cakes and pies here you want to add some color to that add, add a little fun the kids can do this too make your own ice cream toppings add a little bit of uh, your m&ms or any hard candies that you like oh, and now you that. can grate that right over your to the top cool. of your ice cream you can put them both together and imagine look at i mean just think of all the things that you can do with the speed grader, and again, you're not plugging anything into the wall. It's perfect for an RV, boat, or motor home. Take it with, I mean, the kids will love this. And look at this. Look I mean, it comes out perfect. Look at, look at, look at. You pick this up here. We've got a couple you know, of I'm cupcakes done. here. Oh, yeah. look at this. We've got some ice cream up here. Cat gave us ah, bowls of ice cream. Look at that. She's so now you can top your ice cream, <laughs> your cakes, your pies. How about doing chocolate? Okay, you want to shave yeah. chocolate? Ooh, let's do you some can chocolate, shave. and we'll put it on the cupcake. There you go. Is that okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Can we do that? That's a good cooking thing, right? <laughs> chocolate on icing. All you do All is right. twist the handle, and here. Give now I'm going to do this. I'm going to plate, plate, press down on this. All look right. at that. I want you to look at the consistency of that though i mean it comes out grated shaved perfectly yeah and look, <laughs> guy you're I'm over there you're the garnishing over there I'm garnishing the cupcakes <laughs> with chocolate <laughs> did you see what we did though and it's okay to get some on the plate yeah but look at what we just did just using regular chocolate we became artistic okay so uh <laughs> kyle just said we're going to put a three minute clock up in a sec but we are now down to about well we can put our left counter up it says 575 but i have a ton of people shopping right now we have close to 200 online um you know what i love too john is yes. rather than going out and spend 300 dollars on a food processor right Right. which is a nightmare to yep. clean, as you know. Yep. This, you disconnect and you rinse out the wheel. The, the drum and you put it back in. That's how easy. It, that's how easy it is. And it's forty dollars versus. I've gone back to the fine grating blade here. Wow. Okay. Look at this for your Parmesan cheese. Hey, for your Italian dishes, you can do soft cheese with the larger grater, the grating drum. Okay. For uh, maybe you're doing taco night, or you want for your enchiladas, burritos, tostadas. You do all of your grating with this, but you do it safe, fast, easy, and you don't have to plug anything into the wall. But look, I mean, we just made an, an entire bowl i don't know if you can see the size of this bowl completely full almost of grated parmesan cheese oh my it, why why buy it grated in a bag already and pay them to do it for you yeah with this machine it saves you money because now you can do it all yourself if you want red there's only 50 left so I, if you got to get on board with that and then we're down to i'm going to show you so again either one i'm going to yeah. pull the handle off okay so, so, so you just pull down on this little tab back here that right. releases the handle the drum comes out okay yeah you can also clean you can clean the uh the unit here by twisting this and this whole thing comes off it goes right tap, in the dishwasher really, right? yep now you slide that oh, back on that. i'm going to put the slicing blade back in because i'll tell you what a lot of people tell me they have a hard time using a knife okay yeah not everybody is a professional chef but with this machine i Let's mean if you want to do if you want to do potatoes do for chips. pan fries home fries maybe you want to do potatoes for scallop potatoes or potatoes au gratin homemade potato Perfect chips job. it's all done in seconds and again i just place a potato in the chute Okay, you press down on the potato, turn the handle, and it does the slicing for you. Now, when you get close to your fingers, you don't want your fingers getting in there. You've got the plunger that feeds it through right to the end, and you get perfect, look, 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 look. perfect potato chips. I love the skin And they're on all there the same well. thickness. And I love scalloped potatoes, but <laughs> yeah. let me tell you, it is a son of a gun to cut to potatoes for scalloped right. potatoes, right? <laughs> and, I, and sometimes you don't feel comfortable using the mandolin thing because a lot of people are afraid of that. You can't get your fingers you in there. You can't go wrong. I mean, you can't right? make a mistake. 
mistake with this. All you do is turn the handle. The machine does the work for you. And I like it too for those things that, you know, come the holidays when you're sitting there in the kitchen with a knife slicing your celery. Here, you can do one or two stalks of celery at a time. Here, I'm going to take out the cleaver. Okay, and by the way, this is going to be coming up here in a second, this cleaver. You're going to love this. It's the iconic chopped cleaver, the one you see. On the, the, I, yeah. <laughs> now, and by the way, that's top of the line cleaver too. It really it? is. It's, All right, so watch, watch, watch. I'm going to do four stalks of celery at one time, and all you do is push it through. Look at this. What? You turn the handle. We're slicing celery for soup, stews, stuffing, for stir fries. Stuffing. And all you do is press down. Look And look at this. I mean, you get perfect yeah. celery slices, perfect each and every all time. All right, we're going to go a little extra long on this. It's a customer pick, by the way. Red just sold out. i got to change this I out. I still have it. Yeah, go ahead, John. Let me show everybody what we have. Sure. So i got to get rid of the red. You go over there, Mr. <laughs> you're, you're done. Uh, and we'll put gray up here. This is the next one that's going to be leaving, so we'll put that up top there. So when you order, you get the machine itself. Yep. Easily it fixes itself to whatever countertop. You get three of the little uh, drums. You get the fine grater drum. You get the uh, the, the larger grate uh, drum. And, and then the you slicing. get the slicer as well. So, we, you know, potato chips. Parmesan cheese, grinding things really, really super fine. Uh, if you want to do things for salads, you get that one that's, that's right there in the middle. John, uh, you know, I, I, like I said before, when I normally crush crackers, yep. I try to do it in the bag. Right. You know, you try to beat it with that's it. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it always leaks out the side. I'm just doing saltines here. Yeah. Okay. But you can do graham crackers for graham cracker crust. You can use those flavored crackers that you buy in the box. You wow. can put those in there. Or you can season your breadcrumbs yourself now. But instead of beating it up with a rolling pin in a plastic bag on the countertop, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now you can do it yourself. And look at this, easy to change out. Here, I'm gonna just clean this out real quick with my thumb, because I gotta show you this cheese one last time, because of course, if a grater doesn't grate cheese, what are you gonna use it for? <laughs> look at this. I mean, for tacos, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas, uh, all of the, look at this, perfect shredded cheese for toppings. I mean, if this is all you use it for, look, it looks like a tornado of cheese coming out of the machine. John's tornado all of cheese. grated perfectly. That's what it is. <laughs> Instead of buying it grated in a plastic bag where you don't know how long it's been there, that's fresh cheese. You know what I love, John, is that the three the three, uh, the pizza. three drums pretty much would grind or grate anything and, uh, you would yeah, possibly want to grate. Anything you want to throw in there, that's right. All uh, right, I love that you did From celery, peanuts, too. peanuts, M&Ms. Right, we're just about out of time. We'll keep you posted on how many are left. Kyle? Okay, so here's, I gotta do my last thing. Now uh, I only have white available, which is actually a good <laughs> color. Oh. Or, oh, here, or we'll lack do of color. A chunk of chocolate. So, anyway, <laughs> I'm having too much fun. All right, John's not going anywhere. We have another great item from Chop coming up. I don't want to talk. John, give me yes. 10, like 15 seconds on the cleaver. You got it. Look at that cleaver, right? I mean, this I, thing. Yeah. Go ahead. Talk the about weight. It. The weight on this cleaver is yeah. perfect. It's a full tang handle, triple riveted handle. All dishwasher safe. I, all, I use mine every single day. It's a hundred dollar cleaver. Oh, Easy. Oh, every yeah. day of the I week. Mean, that's a hundred dollar cleaver. It's got the iconic chopped logo on it. If you're a fan of the show, you gotta have the cleaver just yeah. to add to whatever night nice set that you have at home already. And I have it, actually have it in my hand. I'll show you really quickly before we get to our chopper. But take a look at this cleaver. <clears throat> Perfectly balanced. What John was talking about. Look at the tank. Look at how thick. The, uh, the stainless is inside this, so you can sharpen this over and over and over. Perfectly balanced, full tank construction, triple rivets. This is only $14.95. I'd pay 100 bucks for this cleaver in a second. <laughs> Heavy duty, I, guys. Yes, it is. All right, let's keep going here, Johnny. Uh, that's coming up in just a bit. Oh, and by the way, um, I am so glad that Mark came in. He, he did us a favor to come in uh, and do a presentation on the Airlight Grill today because I know we only have a handful left, but he said, you know what, let's sell them out today. This thing is amazing. You add your charcoal inside, all right? There's a little well inside. So you get real charcoal cooking. It tastes like charcoal. This reminds me of like the tempanaki and the, and the kind of cool stuff that they do uh, at the grill bars, uh, you know, in, in, uh, in uh, Asian uh, restaurants and bars. And you actually, they cook, it cooks from the bottom. You get that great smoke flavor, but it only uses a couple of briquettes and it's totally compact and portable. We, 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 so many of you picked this up when it was at full price, and I'm, I'm sorry, but we did reduce it down to $64.95 just because we're doing, uh, you know, bringing in new inventory. So those of you that wanted to own that, now you have a good chance to do it. Charcoal, nonstick plate, portable, half price today at $64.95. <laughs> and I believe it's uh, only five bucks shipping. Good. All right, let's talk about some fun. the five blade tower slicer. Yeah, five different blades. This thing, listen, uh, you saw the grater. You'll love that. 
when it comes to slicing and dicing, this is what's gonna take care of it. It's got a cup or a bowl underneath that catches the food. You place it on top, whatever it is on top, okay? And it's got the three different uh, inserts. You've got your wedging insert, you've got a large dicing insert, you've got a fine dicing or mincing insert, and everything in between. Plus it also comes with a spiralizer, but look at this guy. You just place the top over the top of the vegetable, yeah. fruit, meat, or cheese, press down, and you get perfectly wedged. <laughs> hey, listen, I told All right. I gave one on. of these that to a bartender. To be that I know. And I mean, if that's all you use it for, is for prepping for your bartenders, okay? You can see how it gives a perfect wedge each and every time. I gotta show you this, okay, close up. Every piece is exactly like the last. Yeah. Okay? And everything goes right into the bowl. So if you wanna make french fries, you can change the blade. If you wanna wedge potatoes, okay? Now you don't have to use the bowl underneath. I like to, some, uh, but sometimes I like to just do a whole bunch of stuff like right on the countertop. If you wanna wedge potatoes, look at this. For, for baking, you put those on a cookie sheet, uh, how about apples? I mean, all you do is place it on top of the blade, you place the cover over the top, and press. And you get a perfectly wedged apple, okay? For caramel, yeah, melt down some caramel in yeah. the microwave, now you can have your own little vegetable tray. It looks easy tray, to clean, too, way, which is another one apples. That, yeah, you yeah. just rinse it out. Super so. easy to clean, easy to use, and all, the, all you do to change it out, everything is so simple. It comes with instructions too, but you, you, I mean, really, it's so simple. You just twist the top. Now you can pull this out. You place the chopper insert in, place the top back on, and now you're ready to change out the inserts. So now if I wanted to take the wedger out, okay, which I'm gonna pop out of here just like this, and I'm gonna put that, that dicer inside. Okay. okay. All you do is place it over the top, and now instead of uh, wedging, now you're gonna dice, all right? So here's how simple this is to do. I'm gonna place it over the top. Place a vegetable all over the top. Maybe you wanna make french fries. You just push. You can make french fries by the mounds. You can make french fries by the pounds. I mean, you can make wow. enough french fries with this machine to feed your whole neighborhood. All you do is press down and you get perfect french fries look each and every time. You gotta look but, at these. And every one is exactly the same, exactly like the last. Oh, how about this? How about carrot sticks for a stir fry? Or maybe you're making a little vegetable tray with a sour cream or yeah, an avocado yeah, yeah. dip. All you do is place it over the top and press down on the lid, the blades do the work for you. So your fingers never get close to the blades because they're all protected by the cover. You just place whatever vegetable on top of that blade and press down, and look at that perfect carrot sticks. And again, every one is just like the last. That way for a vegetable tray, uh, maybe you wanna do some zucchini. Right. Or, but, now anything solid, okay, is gonna come out like a french fry. So yeah. zucchinis are solid, you place it on top, <laughs> you get zucchini sticks. Look, okay, now, right. If you want to dice, you need something that grows in layers, right. like an onion, cabbage, celery, and I'm gonna grab a bowl here because I like my onions to stay right. put. All you do is press, you get diced onion. I mean, wow. a half because an onion it cuts over against, the top. it cuts against the layers. If this is yeah. the only thing you use it for, I mean, let's face it, everybody hates chopping onions with a knife because you cry. Wow. <laughs> you ever notice when you're chopping onions with a knife, the more you cry, the bigger the pieces end up? Yeah, I know. <laughs> because, I know. because you want to get the job you done quick. Get it over Look at that. It. There's an onion and a half, about a cup and a half of onions, maybe two cups of onions, done in, in yep. seconds. And they all come out perfect, uniform, yep. and ready to go over a salad I wanna, super stew. I want to remind people of something, too, and John, just, just uh, from earlier. So if you see a potato yep. that's larger than the bowl, you're going to want to snip the top off of right. it because obviously you'll see it's too big for the bowl. Just just take a little off the top. It's a little yeah. trick so yeah, that, you know, that makes it a little bit easier. Here's one uh, thing with I the love fruit, about if you this. Because I do that, just take the top off the fruit because yep. um, it goes through a lot easier and you just don't want to turn it so you don't have any problems at home. On taco um, night, yeah. watch this. What are you going to make mean, now? If this is, are you doing tomatoes? Tomatoes? Yeah, I'm gonna do, this is one of the only machines I've ever found that'll dice a red ripe tomato. Place a half a tomato on top, you press down that lid, and you get perfectly diced tomato for tacos, for salsa, for homemade bruschetta, for salads. All you do is press, and you get perfectly diced tomato. And look, I mean, if you've ever tried to dice tomatoes by hand with a knife, Talk about a paint. Talk about yeah, time consuming. It, right. Yeah. Now you can and do you it. You have to have a razor easier. sharp knife because even that won't <laughs> go through right. skin, right? Yep. Now I'm going to show you something a little bit different here because this is something that you can do at home as well, but it gives you an idea of exactly how this works. I'm going to put a couple of eggs on the fine grade, on the fine chopping uh, blade, yeah. and I'm going to hold the machine up. Okay. I'm going to try and hold this so the camera can see what happens underneath. Okay. When you press down on the lid, what happens here? I'm going to push down on these legs and push down on the lid at the same time. 
time. What happens is it wow. separates the food. I like to show you with eggs like this because you can actually see what's going on inside right, there and see kind of how it works. Yep. So again, all you do is press on the lid, watch those eggs separate as they go through there. Wow. So for egg salad, tuna fish, yeah. chicken salad, you can do three or four eggs at a time on here. Make sure um, work look at that. all you do is press and you get perfectly diced yep. eggs for egg salad look or for that. a potato salad. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I love that. that you, I love seeing that too because I love egg salad. Or yep. if you're just making doing like a salad nichoan, you want to put eggs on top, whatever it is, you can pretty much put any fruit or vegetable That's inside right. here. Remember, as we said, you know, just cut the vegetables down to Here's size, however you want them, and fire them through the machine. I got another little tip too because if you want to make, well, my kids love these things. They, I call them cucumber icicles, okay? I'm going to snip the ends off. I'm going to stand this up because you can take this blade, all right? right? If you've got a very long vegetable, place it over the top of a fruit or vegetable like this and press down to the table and you can make those long zucchini sticks make oh, cucumber that. icicles yeah make, i mean uh, any better than that I mean, it comes out perfect now if those are too big maybe you want them smaller you can use the smaller insert and again i'm just going to snip the tip off here and watch this because when you place this over the top it creates that the cut that it gives you, and then you just press it down to the table, and look at that. You get a <laughs> like an octopus. <laughs> All right. You get perfect cucumber uh, Yeah, that's going in a real tall Bloody Mary right there. You're going to love that. $39.95. Hey, uh, Kyle, we have this still available in the gray and the red. I'm going to step behind you, John. Okay. <clears throat> while you get cleaned up there, and I want to show everybody uh, what you get when you order this. So, um, we give you uh, the unit itself, okay, with the little push lid on top. You can choose from gray, or you can also get red. Uh, you get a variety variety of different choppers inside here, even a spiralizer, but this this is to do your wedges, all right? And then you get the two different blades. You get the, the small uh, blade for doing fine chopping, and then you get the large blade as well. We don't actually have the large blade out here, but yep. here it is. There, there we is. go. Actually, oh, that's two that's the That's the small one. Here you go. There you go. I'll show everybody. Yeah. So there's the large blade, too. So you get both these so you can do the crazy things that John was talking about. There you go, John. Uh, Thank you. If you want to pick up the uh, the season, uh, season with Authority book by Mark, we have that available. Do we have that? Yeah, we have that available on hsn.com. And don't forget about, the, Kyle, do we have any of the cleavers left? Can I get a count on the cleavers? <clears throat> Okay, so Mark, or Mark, uh, uh, Kyle just said we are down to 800 of the cleavers, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about that in just a moment or two. Uh, but anyway, grab this because I'll tell you, make it makes your chopping jobs easy. It does, right, right John? That absolutely does. All you do is press down the lid. It takes care of it. Does all the work Look at for how you. Simple. <laughs> all right, guys, 39.95. It's on Flex Pay for thirteen dollars and thirty-two cents. Five six one nine nine one. The air like grill people are already grabbing it because I know you remember it from when we first launched it at one twenty-nine. It's half price today. You put a couple of little bits of charcoal in there, a little bit of your fluid. It has a built-in fan underneath that blows the air through and gets it heated up in three minutes. You are ready to cook. See the fan underneath? Unbelievable how fast this works. It's the most, it's the smartest thing I've ever seen uh, in, a, in a portable grill. That's coming up at half price in just a bit. All right, so we got tons of people that have been talking about this uh, this amazing cleaver. Why? Because first of all, it's it's the best quality. I want to go over here and I want to show you. This is the presentation box that it's going to come in. I'm going to lift it up because you can't really see the shine of the cleaver unless you lift it. So there is the cleaver. It comes in the and the, you know and this is the iconic chopped. You know, when you watch the show, I mean, there's a cleaver right there. That kind of shows you you're watching the show. But what do you use a cleaver for? John's going to sh show you lots of things, but your cleaver is a multi-tool. Um, you know, and, and it's funny because one of the few, one of the things you'll probably lose it less for is just cleaving things. You use <laughs> right. it for smashing. For everything. You use yep. the back of it, well, the hard part for tenderizing. But let me tell you, when you need to go through big chunks of meat. Yep. This is the go-to knife. Like John's got it rooms. right here. And the, the balance of it, the weight of it. Yeah. Andreas is in our kitchen over there. That, that cleaver is like, it's like a $100 cleaver. Yeah. $14.95 <laughs> is all you'll pay. So I expect this to sell out very quickly. Yeah, ahead, I'll tell John. you, and, and the weight of it, the feel of it, you uh, wait until you get this in your hand. Again, triple riveted, full tang handle, it's okay? Heavy. Yeah. Let me put these down here. The, where are you going to use this is for deboning things, or maybe maybe you want to cut through quartering the bone, chickens, okay? Right. Like quartering chickens. You go right down to the to the uh, the joint, and look at this. You can just you uh, go right through the bone. It's the weight of that blade that helps right. you do the slicing, the cutting, the chopping. Now, 
By the way, you're gonna love this too for mincing, all right? Again, dishwasher safe, but I always tell everybody with your knives, and especially good knives like this one, don't put it in the dishwasher. It bangs There's up no against dishes, to. against the railing. They're more dangerous Wash in the dishwasher when you're reaching in there. That's this right. way, clean it, put it back where it belongs. That's right. People that know cutlery, don't throw their cutlery in the dishwasher. All right, it's dangerous to do that. All right, right, so three minutes until sellout. But this is the weight of the knife that does yeah. the chopping for it you It really here. does. And yeah. I mean, this is where you're going to love it for doing those really tough jobs that a normal, you know, yeah. kind of a skinny right. knife has a hard time doing. You've got the weight of the blade, okay? Get it started. All you do is push it through. You can cut through a solid, I mean, that thing's like a bowling ball. That's how wow. dense that cabbage is. Yeah. But it cuts right through there because you've got the sharpness of the blade, but then you've got the weight of the blade as well. Plus, yeah. the depth of that blade Blade helps you guide it helps guide you through oh, the yeah. food. So yeah. and it's and it don't forget you have a, you have a knife that's this wide, that's so it's right. easy to guide as you're going through the If your knife is fruit. only that tall or right. wide, okay, right. how, how do you control that going through something large like a cantaloupe, a watermelon, a honeydew? Now you can do that, but keep that exact precise slice going all the way through. So Perfect. you get more even slicing. Yep. And I mean you can do all kinds of stuff with it with you'll use this knife probably more than any other knife in your knife drawer. Yeah. Because of the because of the feel of it, the and weight people, of it, and people use it by the way <clears throat> for scooping. That's right. Because that's that's it's how a people, chop and scoop. You chop, yep. and then you scoop. That's and right. You, chop, and you take it right to your salad and that's how bowl you clean, or frying right? pan. I'll let but John you can also up. use it for slicing. So if you want to slice a tomato, okay, you can use it for slicing as well. All you do is move the knife and it cuts. And I mean the precision that you get with a weighted knife like this, you could slice one tomato so thin, you can make one tomato last all winter. I mean, yep. <laughs> look at that. And by the way, it is sharpenable. Yes, very, it is. It'll run through all but your basic sharpeners. It takes a sharp knife, and this is a super sharp yeah. knife, but it's the weight of the blade that does the cutting for you. But like I said, it's one of the thi one of those things that now you have the tool to do the job. I mean, when you're gonna slice with, a, with one of your normal kitchen knives, trying to go through a butternut squash like this, all you do is press down, and the weight of the blade helps guide you yeah. through that vegetable. And most people would, that'd be really hard to do. Do yep. some herbs for Absolutely. me, brother. Absolutely, you wanna do snip some off herbs. some herbs? Look at this, because of the weight of this, and again, you'll notice this blade does not sit flat on the countertop. See how it rocks? That will help you when it comes time to chopping your um, herbs. Yes. For, okay, that rocking motion back and forth allows you to mince even the finest things. In fact, guy, I think there's some garlic over there. I'm just, this I'm, is what I'm I taking I some garlic I, I out for you, John. garlic in everything. Watch this. <laughs> Ready? Here, yes. I'll set you up. Yeah, go ahead. So, so there's, okay. your, there's some cloves for you. Yeah, three cloves of garlic. Watch. All you do Boom. is press, and look at this. The peels peel right off, and the garlic squirts right out there. That's all wow. garlic. So now you can mince your garlic right there on your countertop. I love and this. Instead of sitting there with, you know, garlic smell all over your hands, now you get it done in seconds. All right, you want to get something cool for Dad for Father's Day? It's right here, or mom for Mother's Day, like whatever it is, whoever you're, whatever you're buying for. Uh, this is a great way. I forgot to open it. And, and the, the price on this go. is amazing. Look at, for this is fourteen dollars and ninety-five cents. I, I challenge anybody to find one of this quality <clears throat> for anything less than from fifty or sixty dollars. They're fantastic. John, good job. Hey, man. Lots of chopping, lots of... Wow, it's hey, gone by already. The way, uh, yeah, I know. We're already done. We're flying out of here. Uh, the chopper uh, sold out. Congratulations oh. to those that picked it up. Uh, remember, I am heading outside. The Airlight Grill is coming up next. Please stick with me because you got to see how this thing works. It's the best grill on the go out there. Let's toss it over to Michelle, see what she's got coming up. I have that Airlight portable grill and it is amazing. You guys are gonna love that coming up. A great price on that. And speaking of great pricing, if you wanna save an extra $10 on any purchase that you make, first time purchase using the HSN card, all you have to do is sign up. That's right, $10 you can put toward any of the kitchen essentials you've seen, any of our Amazon beauty items coming up in the next hour. It's so easy to apply. Just go to hsn.com and search HSN card to get more info there. We will be right back with more more on HSN today, but first, here's some more info on that card. Who knew a little piece of plastic could be so much fun? Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. 
There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that, the possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say YES to DIY at HSN. I'm going to tell you about the best port portable grill on the go that I've ever seen. It's called the Airlight Portable Charcoal Grill. Uh, you know what I love about this is you get that delicious charcoal flavor. It lights in a matter of like two to three minutes. It's a beautifully designed grill that gives you charboil flavor wherever you go. It's the lowest price we've ever done. I love the feel of it, the make of it, the durable stainless construction. Most of all, I love that yeah, right baby. there. Right there. And of course, this guy right here. How you doing? Hi, buddy. It's good to see you. You, know, you as well. Listen, you are the master of the grill. We watch you on Facebook. We see, I've seen your shows. It's fantastic. When it comes to grilling, this guy knows this thing. And I will tell you one thing, this guy would never use a crappy grill. <laughs> he could because it's, it's, part, it's part of who he is. It's a lot show up at the house. Yeah, yeah, but let me tell you, you don't often have six or eight hours to grill, right, buddy? Nope. Game changer. Yeah. Guys, this is your must-have portable grill for the season. I'm yeah. telling you right now. And the reason is right here, guys. Have a look in front. You see that little button there? That controls a battery-operated, completely portable, built-in fan. Now, what does that mean? That means for the first time ever, you can actually look. control the temperature look. with a fan on the inside. Now, guys, Dude. you see the grill marks on here, right? Anybody that understands grilling is looking at this going, well, wait a second. Those coals are still black. How's that happening? Yeah. Guys, because of the fan that's in there, because of the well that cuts down on the smoke, right. this is going to become so fast your wow. go-to grill for traveling. And not only because it grills, look at this. We've got a little kit available for you, and if you add that on now, you're smoking. What? Guys, you're smoking. And when you're at the tailgate, when you're at the campsite like we were this weekend, you are smoking in a unit this big because of that fan. And have a look here. Unlike the big giant ones that are a thousand bucks, look like an egg, they're kind of green. Yeah. When it comes time to add a few more wood chips, it's not a four person, 20 minute event. All you do is pop a few more in and you're ready to go. So, and so the far, smell, I'm telling you. The smoky goodness. Okay. I'm telling you. We have 400 of these That's left. It. All right, and we discounted the price by 50% because Love we it. know it's getting, we're gonna get to grill season. Yep. Well, you know what, hey, listen, I'd shovel a track outside. <laughs> I'd put this outside. I want everybody to look deep down into the coals. Can you get that shot overhead? Come way down and look inside and you'll see this is the mat. This is real barbecue cooking. This right is here. real bar. Listen, we're going to yeah. show you a really neat side-by-side -side demo here, but wow. I want to get a little bit of food on first because, guys, here's the deal: if you want to talk about gas, if you want to talk about charcoal, if you want to talk about what's real, what's not, right. I'm going to tell you. Right, I'm going to end it for you. Charcoal. Yeah, <laughs> guys, I know. Grilling is f uh, food over fire, usually wood. That's barbecuing, guys. Well, I'll tell you. Listen. Here's what charcoal is. Charcoal is wood. So this is grilling over wood and fire, cooking over wood like it's supposed to be. Bottom yeah. line is, guys, the reason people go for uh, gas is because it's faster, Convenient. it's cleaner, yeah. there's no flare-ups, right. and people have an easier time with it. And listen, I get that. So follow me here and let me go ahead and kill all of that for you. Because yeah. if you can cook with charcoal, with the same speed, yeah. cleanliness, and ease as gas. Do it. Why on earth wouldn't By you? By the way, update. So watch this. 350 left. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do, you guys. Inside here, I've got the machine set up to the point where you would put the charcoal in. So watch. You're going to use any lighter fluid you want. I've got a little bit of gel. I don't care for the briquettes that have the lighter fluid built in, all right? It's a little bit chemically for me. So here's what I'm going to do. 
I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn the fan on on both of these machines, they're identical. I've got the exact same nine charcoal briquettes in each one. So Guy, do me a favor here if you could. Sure. Put your hand over both of these just so everybody knows we are on and lit. Right? Oh, you're on and Everything's lit, Everything's lit. Yeah, these are hot. So here's what I'm gonna do. On this one and this one only, I'm gonna turn that fan off. Okay. Now on every other charcoal grill in the world, but this one still has the fan going. Wait till you see the difference that fan makes. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my grill plates on just like okay. this, but before I do, I want you to understand something, okay? This grill, and I love that they finally got this right. This grill works on airflow. Grilling is airflow, heat is airflow, barbecuing is airflow. So when you cut off the air on a grill plate, right. you're killing your food, man. Look what we've done here. Oh, there's little perforations all, all the, way the way around. Here's what happens. The yeah. heat's right here, you saw it? Okay. Because there's air here, it yanks it. So you have the same grill mark here, 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 here. And I can feel this happening. So watch what I'm gonna do. You again, there's only 300 remaining. Love it. Sorry to do that to you, gang, out there, but I don't want you to get left out in the in the cold here. Nope. And you know what I love, too, honestly, Mark? It comes in the case, so you can take yes, it wherever sir. you go. I love that you could bring this to the beach yep. with a handful of charcoal I love it. and cook a dozen hamburgers. Listen to me. Rather than lighten up the whole neighborhood. Eight charcoal briquettes yeah. will give you a full meal cook. Now, guys, watch this, all right? You saw me put this on here, and I was watching the clock. Guy, I think it was about three minutes ago that we right. put these on here. I want you to see something, okay? We're not kidding around here. This is the real deal, you guys. When you engage that fan, you are cooking with charcoal as fast as you cook with gas. Completely non-stick grilling surface, and the results are stellar every single time. And remember what I promised you? There is no difference between that grill mark and that grill mark right, and that, that grill mark, even though the heat's right here. Like I said, it's all airflow. And what this grill plate does for the first time ever on a machine like this that I've ever seen, yanks it. It pulls that heat. So you're not having to move around the food on your grill. <laughs> and remember, the magic is right here. It's all in that fan, yeah. you guys. In fact, here, have a look here. It's battery operated, right, so, so it's completely nothing, portable. Nothing to plug in. Nothing to plug Love in. Love that. I want you to keep this in the back of your truck, back of your SUV, back of your whatever. So your camper, you, right? I tell you, man, some, sometimes grilling takes you by surprise, and you yeah. just gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this yeah. gives you the chance to do that, you guys. So guys, as soon as you turn that fan on, you are introducing, uh, uh, you are introducing oxygen into the mix. Oxygen is where the fire and the heat comes from. I can't believe it took somebody this long to figure that out. What do you need, bro? Just the veggies over there, man. Oh, I'll load gotcha. this back up, right? So now here's the cool thing. See this fan? I can actually turn down where are you? my charcoal. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I can actually yeah. turn down uh, my Mark, charcoal grill. I have grill. to update everybody okay. again. I know, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I just, uh, you know, we, we are down to about the last 200. Love so it. So if you'd like it, it has reduced shipping. Uh, it's 50% off today, and I gotta tell you, you know what? Like like you said, Mark, I'm, I'm a real charcoal guy. Yep. Okay, I use I use the cowboy charcoal, oh. the processed charcoal. I love that stuff. Oh, this and stuff. I'm telling you, yeah, and you really only have to put now, you've got some smaller pieces, but you could literally right. put two pieces so of the charcoal big chunk in and be done. Yeah, yeah, and be done, Just right? be done, right? Yep. <laughs> so and the key is that fan underneath that ignites the charcoal quickly, right? So you're at the ball right, game, you're at the football game, you're at the backyard, the you're, in the, you're in the parking lot of the big store and you just want to cook a brisket. Hey, Mark, <laughs> by the way, with, with, the, uh, with the upsell kit, yep. you, get the, you get the grate in there, Yes, right? sir. And what that does is the it, lid. you get the grate, the lid, and some utensils. Now, what that grate does is it allows you, in a unit, this small to actually do offset cooking. That means that it's away from the heat. Guys, are you seeing this? What are you doing to me? This is a brisket that you what can cook. What did I cook ever do to you? The trunk. Why are you hurting me like that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Is this not the craziest thing you've ever yeah. seen, you guys? Now, everybody is going to get, by the way, a handle and a tool to go ahead and get at the firebox, at look, the look, flame. Look, look. And by the way, I want to show everybody something. Do you see what's going on in here? Slow burn. Look. We've got the fan on really low. In fact, you could probably turn it off. And what's going on in here is we've got all that. That's what's flavoring the meat right there, Mark. And you could put, I could put apple wood chips on oh, there, right? Oh, sure you could. Can you imagine a four, five, six hour smoke on a unit this small 
uh, that you can help cut down the smoke on with the liquid inside, control the temperature with the built-in fan regulating the oxygen, and holy moly, it's got handles. You ever what? try and pick up That's that big crazy. green thing? I didn't see the little <laughs> handles in there. I love it. All right, so I want you to imagine something, and we're, we're going to talk about the accessories, but I want you to imagine that, you know, you want to have a little impromptu romantic barbecue down at the beach. That's it. Right, what are you going to do? You're going to load your giant grill in the back of your, if you have a truck? But I'm going to lower my voice no. to guy level. That's Let me right. tell you That's that. You. You're going to be Mr. Smooth like Mark uh, Gill. You're going to be, honey, <laughs> I got steaks and I got I got stuff in the cooler. I smell I'm like a brisket. Bring, I smell like brisket. I know you love that cologne. <laughs> uh, I've got the little uh, the little air uh, airtight, air light, airtight, whatever you want to call it. Uh, portable grill. You take it to the beach with a little bit of red wine, hang out. And, you got, and all you need is a little five little lumps of charcoal. And remember, because... The battery-controlled fan underneath that accelerates the, the the basically the process of getting the coals right red, uh, and then you can slow that down. So if you're smoking, and by the way, I want to show everybody the smoking kit. Yes, sir. I'm going to walk over here. When you order, you have your choice today of the green, ah, uh, the green. So the black just sold out. That's mm -hmm. okay. So here's the green one. So you're going to get this. If you want to get the, uh, and you also get the, the carrier. So that takes it wherever you go. You get the grill lid. Everything you need there. If you want to get the smoking kit, where you're going to want it covered, you get the cover, you get the smoking rack. I think you get the little tools, too, right? You get the little tools, the too. Little I'm brush. telling you what. Those are the cutest little tongs I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you get those. That's uh, available. And I don't know what the price is on that, but Kyle's going to tell me. So, so uh, Guy, join me at my magic table here, because this is where it is. Look at everything If you, you joined us six and a half minutes ago, and I need you to think about this for a second. Let it process, okay? I just said six and a half minutes on a charcoal grill that I hadn't lit yet. So this isn't time after the coals heated up. This is from a machine that basically came out of a box six and a half minutes ago, and you have got to be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, you, bitch, you guys. <laughs> Look at this. Watch, 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 watch. They're already ready That's to turn. That's half done. In four more minutes, that'll be ready. There's my char marks. What? Now, guys, this barbecue's lit. There's yeah. nothing wrong with this barbecue. It's just heating up at a normal speed. And I'll tell you, we're not even <laughs> close. No. Okay? It's gonna take 30 minutes for that it's thing to heat take, up, right? Exactly. Yeah. 15 to 20 minutes for the coals in a barbecue to turn white to the point where you're ready to cook. Well, have a look at this. Because of that fan. Oh my, that's the one. Look. look at this, you guys. Because of that fan, because I'm forcing oxygen through the coals, I get all that taste, all that flavor. Yeah. But look at that. They're not even white. We're basically yet. doing that <laughs> without having to do that. Right? Exactly. Like the bellows on a fireplace. That's what, And the guys, have a look at this, okay? There's one steak. Oh, my god. Perfectly gosh. done. I'm going to bring it over to the board here to cut it so you can see. And I will say this. I put this food on when we started this airing, I think, yeah. 11 minutes ago. That's, All right? Oh, and that's, that's the deal, too. you guys. That's perfect. Not only that's perfect, salmon. but here's what I want you to see. Watch this, you guys. Watch this real close. And again, process this. That's the skin side down. So not only you are you doing... You never flipped it. Oh, no, I flipped it. Oh, did you? But that means that it ain't sticking anywhere. Oh, I gotcha, yeah. Even skin side down. So guys, look at this. We're doing Watch. burgers. We're doing hot dogs. We're doing pork. We're doing steak. We're doing chicken. We are cooking with charcoal faster and cleaner than I can cook with gas. Guys, that is a perfect nice. medium rare steak. Watch Here's the, the flakiest salmon. salmon. I mean, are you kidding me with this? Come look at this. On. Wow. In minutes, Beautiful. absolute minutes. Yep. And these burgers are almost ready to serve. All right, so let me remind yep. everybody, I got 100 left. Kyle says no, guy, there's probably, <laughs> Kyle, what, 25, 30 of these left? Uh, in fact, Kyle is saying in 20 seconds we're going to wrap it up and we're going to move on to the little uh, the little smoker kit. But I want to remind you, this is a great way. Oh, and one other thing, too. Yeah. Um, you know, when you read the directions on this, it says, uh, you know, virtually a smokeless grill. It's a regular grill. Don't use this inside. No, 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 <laughs> Use no. this it's charcoal. Outside. Go it's a closet. charcoal grill. <laughs> use it in a well-ventilated area. You know, if you, had a, if you had a screen patio, be okay. Absolutely. As long All as right. you have fresh air ventilating. Well, I get a lot of our customers that are like, can I use this indoors? They'd be like, no, I wouldn't, mm -mm. I wouldn't do that. Mm -mm. Um, but, but enjoy that real charcoal flavor. Hey, Mark, let's yeah. talk about the smoking kit. Absolutely. Because so, this is, this is going to sell out. We yeah. know that. So here's the deal, you guys. And let's do it right here, okay? okay. Because this is what we're talking about. I know, I know it's not clean pretty TV shot, but listen, neither is grilling, let's be honest here. This is going to be part of your kit right here. You're going to get this special rack. Now, what this rack does is it puts a block over top of the direct heat. We all gotcha. know what indirect heat uh, cooking is. Normally, it's reserved for big, giant barbecues. You never see it on a portable one. So this allows that heat to get covered 
and give a more gentle heat around the outside. That's what allows you to smoke. And we want to be able to control the air, even though we're feeding it in here, right. we want to control where it's going to come out here. That's why we have our lid. So guys, if you want to take that grilling game to a level where you've never had it before, get that grill and lid. We'll make sure you get a few of the uh, the utensils to go with it. But this is going to take your grilling repertoire out of your trunk and just well, uh, exponential. I love <laughs> I loved it already as a, as a grill, but having the ability to smoke something, Absolutely. especially, you know, if you've only got two or three you know people in the house so you're empty nester you only need to do one brisket you don't that's need to do three of them at the same time that's it mark did cornish game hens you can smoke those you could probably get four of those on there in the you cornish can get game four hens. of those on there um, five that have been on a diet if you want to <laughs> you want to do uh the little what the little hibachi type stuff or teppanyaki whatever right. you call it and watch this watch what i'm guys if you can look down the down the top here this is the whole deal this is why for smoking you want to be able to control that temperature watch what happens when i turn that fan on watch what happens to this fire man it grows and grows and grows you're not going to smoke over a fire like that so if you want smoked food if you want to do thicker food with that indirect cooking that yeah. you want to be able to block that main source of heat and allow the indirect heat around the outside you guys all right listen the smoker is $14 and our smoking parts are $14.95 they're also available on flex pay portable portable grill just sold out but stay on the line if you're ordering it we still have a handful of green ones if you're on the line you can grab those as well mr gill is always fantastic Thank you, sir. job buddy I he smells it. like brisket you're yeah welcome. i do i do <laughs> i hope, hope any of the girls i hang out with love, I love the barbecue because that's what i smell <laughs>